With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A small bob of mass M is suspended by a massless string from a cart of the same mass M as shown in the figure. The friction between the cart and horizontal ground is negligible. The bob is given velocity v naught in horizontal direction as shown. The maximum height attained by the bob is initially whole system that is bob plus a string plus cart was at rest. Now according to question there is no friction. So I can say there is no any external force. So the momentum of the system will remain constant. Now at the highest point the bob and the cart will move with same velocity vm. Let's suppose vm. Because at the highest point, the bob will be at rest with respect to cart. So, both bob and cart will move with same velocity here. Now, applying momentum conservation, that is P initial equal to P final. Now, initially only bob has velocity. So, I can write mass into velocity, that is V0, equal to final momentum, that is mass of bob plus mass of cart into wave f. Now I can write m v naught equal to 2 m v f. So cancelling m and m, I can write v f is equal to v naught upon 2. Now let's suppose the bob has reached height h. Now applying energy conservation that is total energy initial equal to total energy final. Kinetic energy initial plus potential energy initial will be equal to kinetic energy final plus potential energy final. Now initially there is only kinetic energy of bob that is half m v naught square plus there is no potential energy. Now at final kinetic energy of both that is half mass of bob plus mass of cart v final square plus Potential energy of bob that is mg into height h. Now solving this equation that is half m v naught square is equal to half m plus m 2m into vf. Putting the value of vf equal to v naught by 2 that is v naught by 2 whole square plus mg h. Now half m v naught square equal to cancelling this two m v naught square upon 4 plus mg h. So I can write half m v naught square minus m v naught square upon 4 equal to mgh. Now half m v naught square minus half m v naught square by 4 it will become 1 by 4 m v naught square equal to mgh. Now cancelling m, I can say h equal to v naught square upon 4. This is the required answer, that is the height attained by the bob. For class 6 to 12, ITG and neat level. 
Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.